godfather of the european union richard kuten of kalergi published the plan for a united europe and the ethnocide of the peoples of europe the encouragement of mass non white immigration was central to the plot. Since then, an unholy alliance of leftists, capitalists, and Zionist supremacists has schemed to promote immigration and miscegenation with the deliberate aim of breeding us out of existence in our own homelands. As indigenous resistance to this human genetic modification industry grows, the criminal elite seeks new ways to camouflage their project. First, their immigrant pawns were temporary guest workers. Then it was a multiracial experiment. Then they were refugees. Then the answer to a shrinking population. Different excuses, different lies. And asylum is just another one. But the real aim stays the same. The biggest genocide in human history. The final solution of the Christian European problem. This crime demands a new set of Nuremberg trials and you people will be in the dock. Mr. Griffin, there is a blue card for you from Mrs. Gomez, all right? Senora Gomez. Mr. President, I'm really ashamed of the racist and xenophobic uh, terms that were used by Mr. Griffin. And my only question to him is if he's there to make any concrete suggestions and amendments to the legislation. Is your policy serious or is, are you just shouting? And I hope you will not be re-elected if you seek re-election because it's a shame for this parliament, the kind of uh, statements you have just made. Sir. Senor, Senor Griffin? Mr. Griffin. It's you that's shouting because obviously the truth hurts. Yes, I will be seeking re election. Yes, I hope to return here to speak up for the indigenous Europeans, which the founder of this place has deliberately set out to wipe out because that is a crime. I'm telling the truth. I have a constructive suggestion to help those poor asylum seekers from Africa. Yes, make it clear they can't come here so they don't try to cross the sea and drown in huge numbers. The best way for them is to get the banks off the backs of their countries so they can live in peace in their countries and we Europeans can live in peace in ours. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Ms. Angel